Jim Hawkinson. We're at Big House Fish Farm here in Southern Illinois. We grow largemouth bass. Uh, it's pretty much all we focus on. We usually will try and start at a fingerling stage, maybe about an inch, inch and a half, all the way up to a pound and a half is what we look for for market size. To grow our fish to market size right now, we're looking at around 12 to 13 months. We are going into our fourth harvest season right now. Never saw myself as a fish farmer and neither did anyone I know see me as a fish farmer, no. I had a good friend of mine approach me who owned a goose hunting club and he needed to put some water on his land to kind of draw the geese in. And so he wanted to add a half acre pond, but was trying to figure out if he could do something to turn some revenue from that. And so he had mentioned that he'd seen something about largemouth bass. After looking into it, we realized pretty quickly that a half acre pond was not gonna generate enough revenue to offset all the setup and startup costs. As my wife will tell you, I like to go big or go home. And so the next thing I know, we're building seven ponds, bought 60 acres, and we've now got 18 acres underwater. We use all outdoor ponds. They range in size from three acres all the way down to two. So we start four foot one end, we go to eight foot at the deepest. And we do that just for freezing purposes. We have to hold over winter. Every year, once we completely harvest the fish out, we'll go out, spread line throughout them, let them dry up, and then we refill the ponds. So initially when we bring the fish in, we'll put them all in one pond because they like to compete for the food and it keeps them aggressive and keeps them active. So we may start with pond one and we'll have 90,000 fingerlings. As they start to grow in size, we don't want to run into any overcrowding. So we'll start separating them out from one pond to the next. And we keep dividing them up so we can maintain our water quality and at the same time, keep a healthy fish that's competing for the food. We sell everything live, so the trucks will arrive, all the fish are loaded up live, they're put in the oxygen tanks and they're shipped immediately out and go straight to their destination. Primarily we sell our fish to New York City or to Canada. Those are our two primary markets, about 90% of our fish go there. We chose largemouth bass because the market value is much higher uh, and also the competition isn't as much. Sustainability to me means it needs to be a viable business that can last 10, 15, 20 years. And I think we've got a plan in place now where we'll actually make that happen. When you watch that truck drive off with 5,000 to 10,000 pounds of healthy largemouth bass, that's a great feeling because you knew you brought them from a fingerling size and you got them all the way up to a market size. And now you got a very healthy pound and a half bass headed to market and somebody in New York is gonna enjoy that on a seafood plate somewhere. <laughs>